Hi, my name is Amira and I'm 12 and I'm going to tell you a story, my story. So I will begin from yesterday. Yesterday was a Saturday, today is a Sunday, so tomorrow will be a Monday. Yes. So Saturday is a half day at school, four classes, science, English, math, and PT. My favorite subject is science. So yesterday our teacher explained how the stars twinkle, the reflection and the refraction. You know what I think about stars? I like these tiny little stars more than the massive sun. The sun spreads its light throughout, but these stars, these tiny little dots, because there's so many, they shine in their own sweet place. Okay, they have this tiny little zone where they'll shine. And I want to be a star. I don't want to be that powerful sun who spreads its light and power everywhere. I want to be that, you know, happy, content star who's comfortable shining in that little zone. And and when I stand in all my glory, standing in front of you, telling you my story, I think I'm shining just fine. I like my English class too. My favorite story writer from my textbook is Roald Dahl. And my teacher is nice too. She always makes me read the stories out loud in the class. I dislike my PT teacher because he's very strict and I hate maths. <laughs> my mom says that hate is a very strong word to use. So okay, I dislike maths. But I can still get very good marks, enough that I can top in my class. So my mom comes every day to pick me up from school. So yesterday, when she picked me up from school, we, she took me for an ice cream, because I topped in my maths class. After I go home, I spend my time eating, sleeping, playing, doing my homework, and then dancing, practicing for my dance, my birthday dance. My birthday is on Tuesday, my 13th birthday, and I'm going to dance. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Yeah, that's my favorite song because I like Barbie dolls. I brush her hair like it's my hair. <laughs> and after I'm done with dinner with my parents, they ask me to sleep because we have to go to the beach in the morning. So today we go to the beach. Today morning we go to the beach. I love beaches. <laughs> I love beaches. I, I love writing my name on the sand, but then it's so weird that the stupid water washes it away. Always, every time I write it, it feels like I'm going to disappear soon. But anyway, I wore a blue frock, and I look really, really pretty. My daddy told me so. Did I tell you about my dad? Okay, I don't know what to tell you about my dad. Okay, so right now, he's having troubles in his office, and he drinks a lot. He always needs somebody to hold on to. But he never hits my mother or me, because he's a nice guy. So I love my father. I mean, he's my father. So anyway... So at the beach, I was twirling and singing and dancing and... My mother was running behind me and then I yelled, I'm letting the ocean take me, daddy. I'm letting the ocean take me. I looked at my dad, he looked at me back. I thought he would come running, hug me, but no. Anyway, then we went back home. I slept, I finished my homework. My mom had to go to, my, to her sister's place. And I ate my dinner with my father. And then post dinner, he was sitting in the balcony and drinking. So I thought, OK, I'm going to go off to sleep. So I'm lying on my bed, looking outside the window, looking at those stars and wondering, what is my teacher going to tell me next about these stars tomorrow? Something new. They're so stupid. I mean, they keep telling us something new every day. Why can't they just finish it off? I keep wondering every night something or the other about them. So I try to find the constellation or some major, and then my finger just lingers there. And then my dad knocks. He comes in, he locks the door. He, cam he comes closer. I said, what happened, Papa? He said, I love you, honey. I said, I love you too, Papa. He came closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. It wasn't a fatherly touch. It just didn't remain a touch. I don't even know how to explain it to you. I mean. Okay, I was wrongly touched by my father. No, I was raped by my father. He dug his nails into my neck. My, he twisted my face to one side and clawed my face. He hadn't made a noise and I made the noise for both of us because it was hurting me. It was hurting me so much. But he didn't stop. 
and then all of a sudden the entire world i couldn't see anything i couldn't feel anything it all just came to black and then when he held me i realized that my life is ending in the arms of a rapist father i could feel his breath on my cheek he was breathing heavily from his mouth i could feel it on my cheek and then and then i stopped breathing that was amira talking to you this is me talking to you what happens to this girl and every other girl that i hear about or read about breaks my heart her mother took her to the hospital but she was dead that man her father is booked on the charges of rape and sodomy but how do, how would that justify her absence how would that justify her absence on her birthday how would that justify her absence in her favorite class when she know when she wants to know about stars she wanted to go to school tomorrow to learn something about stars to invite her friends for her birthday on tuesday but she couldn't why because she was raped and dead by the man who is responsible for her existence they say he did it under the influence of alcohol but does alcohol make your daughter look like she's not your goddamn daughter she wanted to read she wanted to play she wanted to sleep she wanted to think she wanted to wonder she wanted to dance on her birthday i'm the barbie girl in the barbie world she is the barbie girl in the barbie world let me tell you one thing is it polite and comfortable to talk about rape no but must we talk about it anyway Yes.